Hello YouTube friends. It's, it's time I did some more draws. So let's do it. Down you come. Come on. Good girl. Now I've taken three out because they've got very, very similar things in them. Ribbons and scraps and bits and pieces for making bunting. Because once of a day I used to make a lot of bunting. <laughs> uh, yeah, I used to. Um, so I used to make bunting to sell. I used to make bunting for um, wedding parties. So for quite a while I used to do, uh, when I had a, a workshop uh, a few miles from here, I had a, uh, a building above uh, a cafe that I used to go to every day. Uh, and um, I used to run like workshops for where women would come, usually, I don't think I ever had any men, would come and make all the decorations for a wedding, say or a big party or whatever. And so these drawers here are full of um, all the bits and pieces I would use for bunting. Now I don't make bunting anymore. I would do that if anybody asked me, but I simply don't do it anymore. So in here then, and you know, I've got a feeling I'm just gonna chuck, chuck these out onto the table and just go for it. So this one then, let's just throw it out and then we'll, we'll, we'll see if we can make it into one drawer. Just one drawer full of um, bunting and ribbon. So sometimes that's not actually... So I've got a lot of bias tape. I've got a lot of tape. Uh, this kind of thing, which is uh, useful for making, for sewing bunting flags onto. And then for quite a while, I used to dye them. Uh, I used to make lengths of this lovely cotton tape and dye it into the colours that people might want to use for their project. So I've got quite a lot of these, but they're over all three of these drawers. So what I'd like to do with this big tidy out is just um, accumulate everything into one drawer and see if we can make sense of this. This is going to be a crazy one, this. And so straight away I found some more Velcro. Now we've got a Velcro drawer. Velcro's useful stuff, isn't it? I mean, what did we do before Velcro? I don't know, it's just such useful stuff. But I have a Velcro drawer here. I tidied up all the Velcro from the first drawer tidying video and it's all here. So that can all go together in the Velcro drawer. So do you know what I'm gonna do? I'm actually gonna tip them all out. I think that's the only way that we're going to make any sense out of this. So this is... Uh, I'll, I won't tip that one out, will I? Yes, tip it out, Kate, tip it out. So this is now depressing because actually this is going to be, uh, I'll pull back a bit so that you can actually see the amount, the amount of stuff there is all over this table now. This is depressing. <laughs> okay, let's bring you back in again. I think some of these things I can get rid of. This isn't um, cotton. This is that plasticky stuff that uh, people use for uh, tying flowers and so on. In fact, this is the kind of ribbon that Karen at Hercules Candy would use if she was thinking of tying some chocolates up and choking somebody. I'm going to give that to a charity shop. <laughs> And that is the tone on my um, message tone, so I'm getting a message. Okay. So this tape then, this is the tape that I put on two parcels, so it's in the wrong drawer. Um, I've got the parcel drawer out there, so I'll just throw that in there for now. So some of this stuff... <laughs> Excuse me. Take that off now. I have some ribbon here. I remember that project, that was a while ago. I have some red and green, very narrow ribbon. 
very useful to have. Um, this is also ribbon. This is this is silk ribbon. Um, I want to make a little separate pile. I have quite a lot of lovely, lovely silk ribbon. So quite a lot of ribbon then from um, lots of projects in the past. So one of these drawers then is going to be ribbon. So I'll put all the ribbons in one drawer. That might make sense. Some lovely purple ribbon here. I've just got loads. And the minute I get rid of this, I'll need it. You know that one, don't you? The second you get rid of something, you're going to need it. So I'll just get a pin to put in there. There we go. So we'll just pin that up so that that's okay there. Now, I've got loads of this, so I'll make a pile of this. So this is the stuff that I dyed uh, to make into bunting of various colours. Uh, okay, we're into this now, girls. We're into this now. Big, big roll of pink ribbon. It's actually not terribly good quality. I uh, have no idea where that came from, but it can go in the ribbon drawer. We're just going to have a ribbon drawer. Big thing of white ribbon here, pin. I'll bring the pins over here so that... There we go, so that they're going to stay safely in there. A good ribbon drawer, excellent. Uh, look, great. Little bundles of ribbon. One drawer full of ribbon, why not? And then we'll sort out what the, the rest of this is. You never know when you're going to need it. What's this now? This is um, very nice cotton tape. Ah, I remember why I've got that. Now, some of you may know, sometimes I talk about uh, things and I think that everybody remembers. <laughs> My daughter uh, owns a bakery. Uh, and um, a few years ago when they uh, opened up, I, I made uh, all the aprons for them. Um, and uh, this was the tape I used for the bits around the neck and to tie them up. So that'll be needed again when I need to make replacement aprons or do any repairs. So that's good. Uh, well, this is a parcel that's sort of still wrapped up. I know what, I don't know what that is, but why don't we save that to open as a treat when we've done a bit more? I've no idea what that is. It's from Accessorize though. No, can't remember that. We'll put that over there and we'll open that up for a treat when we're finished. Because I'll get distracted if I start opening parcels like that now. Bit of white ribbon, lots and lots of ribbon then. So it's a nice day today. It's a very nice day. It's, I woke up this morning though and it, it snowed. <laughs> so from all the fantastic, gorgeous, um, sunshiny weather we had last week, which was the hottest February on record in the UK, uh, I woke up this morning to snow, but then that's more normal. That's what I was expecting. Uh, I have a rubbish bag here. That's a little bit of recyclable plastic there. Uh, right, I'm just going to pick out all the tapes and ribbons then. Uh, this will have been another apron that I made bit of leftover from that. Useful to have. Good cotton stuff there. An empty cotton reel. I think we can part with that, don't you? So yes, this morning I'm just back. It's afternoon now. What time is it? Half past one. Uh, and I've just been to Hexham to the printers. So some of you will have received um, a calendar that you bought at Christmas. Thank you. Some of you might have bought the little book about Norma which there's only a few of left. But I'm, I've am i been to the printers this morning because they're printing some more of my little books for me. I'm excited. I was proofreading them this morning. Uh, I sat in a cafe with a cup of coffee and a cheese scone and I proofread my books, little just little books about all sorts of different subjects and they'll be coming online soon. But what was nice about that was, so I was sitting there doing that and then my friends uh, Sue and James turned up and so we sat and had a cup of coffee together and it was sociable and friendly and I enjoyed it. It was good. Now some more Velcro. I'll tidy that up in a minute. Lots. This is good because I'm, get, I'm finding lots of tapes and braids and ribbons that can all go into the one drawer. 
that's excellent this is nice ribbon it's lovely ribbon with a, a red edge on it so when you need a little bit of ribbon like this to tie up a parcel or whatever nothing else will do okay then so i'm going to post this one today because i'm going uh, away for a few days i'm going to take the red and pink quilt to the long arm quilters in uh, Cumbria. Now I'm going to take the camera with me so I shall do some films but I won't be able to edit them or put them up until I get home uh, which won't be until after the weekend. So today is the 4th or 5th something like that of uh, March. Uh, I wonder if that would just go on to there. I don't know whether I'll make bunting again but if I need to I've got all the lovely coloured tapes if I need to do that. Might be quite nice to make some bunting for the shop. What about that for an idea? Not just ordinary, bun, you know, sort of village fate bunting, but some right, really nice special stuff. Lots of lots of this then. Okay, I might be able to fast forward all of this. What do you think? <laughs> I did the longest video. I'm still editing it. I can't get it under forty five minutes. It's the uh, tutorial for the the um finishing the books I did the filming for it and now I'm editing it and I'm trying really hard to make sense of it but make it not be like um, two years long and it's hard I, I thought about doing it in two parts but I thought that would be very 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 frustrating indeed to have to wait a whole week to get the next part so I didn't do that now this is um, red Thin red elastic. Useful. Uh, is this going to go in the ribbon drawer? I'll tell you what, I'll put it there because I've got a tin, in fact, where elastic goes. We'll have a think about that. Look, I've got loads of this. I had a lovely time dyeing all of this outside ooh, one summer a few years ago now. I've got lots and lots of that. Good, it's going well. Some more of that ribbon that where you would tie up parcels if you were going to choke somebody. My, I could, if the postage wasn't so crazy, I would send that to Karen. <laughs> now, some more lovely uh, spotty ribbon now. Uh, that can just get wound up. This is good because this is three drawers and I'm going to be able to make it into one. And then have a couple of extra drawers for stuff that's falling out of other drawers. <laughs> Aye, so yes, I'm going to go away. I've got an Airbnb booked for a couple of nights. A uh, bit of white tape. Where did I put the white tape? I had a pile for it, didn't I? Um, there it is. So this is white tape that either can be used as white tape or can be dyed to make colour. I think it's nicer even if you just dip it in tea. I sometimes do that. Uh, make a very hot um, brew of a couple of tea bags uh, and leave them in and then dye, dye that just so that it's not quite so bright white. Uh, that looks quite nice. So I'll just leave those there for now. And then we'll... we'll I think we're going to do quite a bit of throwing away uh, uh, in this drawer. We'll get all of these out of the way here. Okay, let's bring everything here. So all of this tape then is great. That can all go there and perhaps even occupy a drawer of its own. Maybe, we'll have a think bit more velcro there let's tidy that velcro up so yeah what's been happening um it's been i had a busy weekend making and doing things for the patrons because the patron family is growing beautifully and um i've been making the postcards and i sent them all off this morning they're all in the post now. Now, the, the UK-based people will get them tomorrow or the day after. But the rest of you people who are in the Australia and the, uh, the US and Canada, it could be ages, ages of postage to those places and expensive. Uh, OK, that's... Ah, oh, now this stuff's very useful to have. This is Hessian uh, jute uh, wadding. Uh, not wadding, jute um, t 
tape. Jute's, yeah, it's good. It's good to have. It's going to go with the tape. And there's some more of that lovely cotton tape which I can put in here for making aprons or doing whatever I do with them. Okay, ah, now this stuff. A few years ago, my son went to um, Latvia, Estonia, all those Baltic states, and he brought me back this beautiful braid. And, and there's more too. So when I find the braid, that's going to go in this box here. There's some more tape of the sort that I the cotton, this is the cotton tape. I used to buy that by the mile, uh, but I have a lot of it still. Uh, that's some ribbon can go in there. Some nice bit of ribbon that would go round a present. Uh, more ribbon, tiny bits of ribbon. They can go in as well though. There's some lovely um, little heart ribbon. Uh, yeah, this is going well. This is going very well. So there's lots of little tiny bits of this kind of thing now. Now you'd think, wouldn't you, that I could easily throw those away, but I'm not going to because I'm going to make some more of those little fabric boxes and these are perfect for embellishments for them. So we'll have another pile uh, for embellishments over there. But some of this stuff... I'm definitely going to throw away. This is some linen thread, uh, which I've just had for years. Uh, it's not eating anything. So that we'll have a little, there's a few of those. We'll have a little pile where they'll go. Now what's in here? <laughs> well, lots of press fasteners and there's no point in throwing them away though. Why would you throw them away? put those over here because they can go on that shelf more ribbon bias tape now I've got so much bias binding tiny piece in the bin not throwing much away am I here's more tape uh, more uh, linen thread very useful if you need a little bit of linen thread nothing else will do <laughs> more ribbon this is good I'm pleased we're doing these drawers because uh, I just look at these and think, no, I'm not doing those drawers. <laughs> this then is some of the bunting shapes that I would have used. But, do you know, they're so old and I'm going to throw them out. I don't need them. There's quite a lot of them. Uh, I'm just going to chuck them out, chuck these ones out. I did used to make bunting out of denim, bits of old denim jeans, where I used to uh, embroider embroider them or put embellishments on them uh, or you know do whatever so I'm actually going to keep all of those in a pile and see what they look like see if I've got lots of those because I have I've got quite a few of those so that's like uh, a project we could keep those because I'm going to make some more of the little soft boxes and there will be some small denim scraps uh, when I make those so maybe I'll resurrect the denim bunting idea I used to make it um, yes because there's a lot of it look I would just sit and stitch you know sort of seed stitch all over it or whatever another bit of thread that's nice thread what's going on there 100% rayon it's very sparkly and nice that thread I'll put it with the threads and I'm going to throw and keep the denim then but I'll, I'll throw, there's one, look. I would just sit there and <laughs> embroider little bits of... But I'm going to throw all these away because they're horrible. So there's a little heart. So that's the kind of thing I would, I would make. I would just do that kind of thing. Stitch that onto there with some lovely little running stitches and make these... Yeah, I'm going to do it because I have a lot. Ah, I'll show you that in a second because that is another thing that I used to make a lot of. Um, when I was making this kind of thing more often, I would do something called baby bunting. 
And I would take uh, these little denim triangles or little fabric, whatever colour the people wanted. And I would stitch letters on. There's an R. And I would make a baby's name so that you would have your kid's name as a little gift. Baby bunting. I don't think I'm going to get into that again. I don't think so somehow. Oh, here's one. Look. Here's one that's got the letters stitched on already that would be made into bunting. No, I'm not going to do... I'll do. I'll keep the denim. I'm not going to keep all of that. To throw it away, even though it's got work on it. This here is a tiny little bit of leftover from... Um, I did an Irish chain quilt a few years ago for a friend of mine. Um... She helped me out in a big way, and so I made her this as a thank you. Those are a few little bits that are left behind. I'm not even sure if they're worth keeping. I don't know. Okay, this is going well, very well indeed. So yes, I'm going to make some more soft boxes because I really like making those. And it looks now that I'm tidying this drawer out that I might think about making this is a scarf a lovely lovely scarf that my friend's dog shredded i might just throw it away i can't mend it can i i've kept it for years thinking that i would do something with it it's in the bin now dog is forgiven scarf is in the bin <sighs> taken me a long time to do that hasn't it so there you are look there's another one of those highly decorated denim things we'll have another pile for that here because these are bigger flags here in fact look here is one that is all stitched together so let's look at this one shall we so i would have these for sale in my the little shop that i had then and they are just let's see if i can show you them all so very decorated and then sewn together i don't know what you would do with them just stick them up that one's got some lovely lace on it. That one's got, um, again, bits and pieces. So that one's finished. So I'll, I'll just store that. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I don't want to get into making these again, I don't think. I don't know. I like making all sorts of different things. You never know. Now that I'm finding these things, I might decide to do them again. OK, a bit more tape. That can go in the ribbon and tape drawer. Um, I think tiny, tiny pieces of ribbon we don't have to keep, do we? Uh, you know me, I'll keep anything if it's bigger than an inch long. Sometimes even if it's smaller. Not good. Oh, it's, um, a bit of red sparkle. Do I really need that? And then we've just got some tiny little bits and pieces left here. That I think could quite possibly just go in the bin. What do you think? Now, there's one more drawer over here, which is a bit like that drawer. I think we'll just say goodbye to those threw something out and that's been mothed as well yep that can go now then here they are ages ago right at the very beginning when I was doing the pink and red quilt I was talking about uh, I think it's Robin who does the uh, at RS Island Crafts who does the piecing onto till roll paper and I said, in those drawers somewhere, I've got some till roll. It's quite narrow. This one isn't, though. Look, that would, that's a full one as well. And so these are great. I can do my little, um, they're very narrow, though. I thought they were wider than that. Even so, I'm glad I found them because I'm going to have a little try at making those little borders uh, that uh, Robin makes. So I knew that I would find them. I knew I'd find them. It's whether or not I leave them in here. Do I leave them in here? 
Let's put them here for now because I want those. Draw. So what we've got now then is a ribbon drawer that's beautifully sorted out. I've got an empty drawer here, which is going to be all the tape for the bunting, all of this tape that I dyed, all of this tape that is left over from uh, me when I used to make bunting, uh, this jute stuff here. I suppose that could go in there. That's a good place for that. And the braid then, and that's ribbon. That should go. That's lovely ribbon, isn't that? Nice ribbon with stars on. I'll keep that in there. That's the ribbon drawer. And we've got an empty drawer, which is amazing. So that's all the two drawers there. I'll try and get them back in the right places. I'll sort out all these jars, but they're going to be for when I do the beads. I've got a lot of beads. I might get rid of quite a few of those. But let's just see what's inside here then because this is um i don't know what it is it's from accessorize so let's open it up and have a look I've ha i must have had this for i don't know 10 years or more nice orange tissue paper got a feeling it might be a christmas decoration look at that <laughs> isn't that awesome that's been wrapped up in a drawer for 10 years, more. <laughs> she got a face. Oh, she's got a little bit of a smiley face, look. <laughs> okay, then. Well, I think she's uh, liberated now. She can fly away. She's got her wings. I think we'll have her up somewhere so that she can do her flying and dancing whenever she feels like it. Uh, what does this say? This is the price, I think. Uh, though it just says it's not a toy and that it is a Christmas decoration. OK, well, I'm sorry that you've been stuck in there all that time, young lady. You can come out now. I'm sure there'll be uh, lots of little people who quite like to play with her. OK, well, we'll just pop you back um over there for now and we'll find a little place to hang her up that's it then uh three drawers there two of them beautifully tidied out and one empty drawer uh so uh and i found this which is what i was looking for uh to do that uh, and i'll bring you along when i do that now i'm going away uh on wednesday today's monday uh and so i won't be back till the following Monday but that's fine uh, I'll have some lovely film hopefully to share with you about uh, some of the things that I've been doing while I've been away okay guys have a good week everybody and I've got lots of projects to do now lots of things that I want to get on and do so I'll catch up with you next time thanks for watching bye now mm -hmm.